Francis Ngannou has revealed how his boxing match with Tyson Fury came about. But before we go into the details of that story, please subscribe to Take Down MMA and turn on those notifications. Thank you. Just a few weeks ago, Francis Ngannou was pretty confused with the back and forth between John Jones and Tyson Fury. But despite the UFC's attempt to potentially hijack his big fight, the Cameroonian knew good things were bound to happen to him. And by good things, we mean a multi-million dollar boxing match against Tyson Fury. According to Ngannou, the negotiations happened pretty quickly. He met a few representatives from Saudi Arabia last month, went back and forth with them for a couple of weeks, and managed to secure the biggest fight of his career. It really started like um, one, one month ago, five, five weeks ago. Wow. And then I received a call from, um, from uh, Raiko in Saudi, and he was like, okay, uh, they want to do this fight. Let's meet, me, let's meet in New York and this. And I wasn't very, you know, at that time I wasn't very excited. I was like, okay, let's find out what's going on. Um, get in New York, we met, he get meet, meet the meet people and we started talk. Uh, he was this quick, like, he was like, the negotiation went on and off like less than two weeks. The fight is scheduled to take place in Saudi Arabia in October, and it's drawn mixed reactions. Ngannou's critics believe the Fury fight is a gimmick or a Mickey Mouse fight. But the baddest man on the planet isn't paying attention to his naysayers. He knows it's a real fight between two of the best heavyweights on the planet in their absolute primes. He's the real fight. He's going on. It's going to, to be a fight. The only difference is that there's not a title online, but he's a real fight. He's going on our record. Since Ngannou has this weird habit of doing the unthinkable, what are his chances of pulling off yet another upset? UFC light heavyweight Tanner Bozer didn't hold back when he was asked about UFC sponsors. Ever since the UFC prohibited its fighters from using their own fight apparel with tons of sponsors, which made them look like NASCAR vehicles, several fighters have protested by saying that they now make far less in sponsorships than what they used to back in the day. The UFC's exclusive deals with Reebok, and now Venom, have not been welcomed by many. But Bozer doesn't have a problem with it since Venom pays him. He does, however, have a problem with other sponsors like Crypto.com and Project Rock, Dwayne Johnson's footwear brand that sponsors the UFC. Now why does Bozer have a problem with them? I guess for sponsors, I have uh, Venom, who actually gives me money, and not every Based company that puts their logo all over my shit that I don't get a single penny from, like Crypto.com and all those other ones, can go eat a fucking dick, and the Rock shoes can go f themselves too. So thank you to Venom for actually paying me to wear their shit. Raul Rosas Jr. has clapped back at UFC fighters who criticized him after his most recent loss. Rosas made a successful start to his UFC career by securing a submission victory against Jay Perrin in the first round at UFC 282. But he lost to Christian Rodriguez in his second fight in the promotion at UFC 287, after which he was criticized by many, with much of the talk revolving around him being overhyped. The 18-year-old has read a few mean comments, but he seems unfazed by them. According to Rosas, if you ain't a UFC champion, you better keep quiet. To all the fighters talking sh I don't want them talking sh if they don't got that belt. Like, it's pretty upsetting when they've been dedicating their all their life, all their life, bro, into this sport. All they do, like, they're UFC fighters, like, all they do is, like, fight for the UFC, so they got nothing to do but train and still can't be the best at it, so don't come talking shit to me. If you're a UFC fighter, you're not a champion, because that's all you do, bro, and you can't be the best at the only thing you do, bro, so don't come talking shit to me if, you're not, if, if you don't got a belt around your waist. Patty Pimplet thinks that Logan Paul's call-out is only a publicity stunt. Earlier this month, Logan revealed that he talked with the UFC bigwigs about the possibility of fighting in the cage against the Liverpudlian. It also I'll, could I'll be him. honest, I pitched it. I pitched it internally. I pitched it to the execs that be. If Elon and Zuck fight, I will do my UFC debut on the undercard. For free, I'll fight for free, for charity. You know who I want to fight, actually? Because that ass Andrew Tate won't fight me? Give me Patty Pimblet. Give me Patty the Batty fights. In the off season, that boy looks like a blip. And he'll come up to my weight class and I'll wallop him. But he's In too optimal. small. It's for... Bro, he's too small when he cuts weight. When he doesn't cut weight, he's a horseshoe. 
when Pimplet was asked about Paul's comments, he responded by saying that he thinks it was a publicity stunt from Logan Paul. Yet, it goes on to prove that he is a big draw in MMA. I saw the said he'd, he said he'd fight for free as well. I'll Did take he? his wages then. <laughs> I mean, if he's saying he'll fight for free, I'll fight for his wages. No, oh, yeah, it's publicity stunts, but it works well for me because I'm not fighting or not, and people are still talking about me. Boss, I haven't, I haven't fought in over six or seven months, and as you say, people are still talking about me. I'm, I'm not even ranked. <laughs> But I'm still the want the name on the tip of everyone's tongue. Pimplet also had some not so nice things to say about Logan's brother, Jake Paul, who's set to face Nate Diaz in a boxing match on the 5th of August. He knows he's never going to be a champion of the world. So he knows he's never going to be a world champion. So he's going to earn as much money as he can. I think he's very smart, that's off too. But people didn't know what a real fight was. Do you agree with Patty Pimplet that Jake Paul doesn't have championship potential? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. To stay up to date with the latest happenings in the world of mixed martial arts and boxing, please subscribe to Take Down MMA and turn on those notifications. Thank you for your continued love and support, and we'll see you in the next one.